Hey there, uh, excited to share God's word with you here this morning. Gonna hang out in Exodus chapter 13, as I told you the other day. Exodus is uh, where I've been hanging out my personal reading time, and today there's um, some stuff that I've highlighted in years past that just jumped off the page to me today. And uh, two things I want to bring your way today is uh, the role of Pharaoh in our life and then the role of some dead bones in our lives. So kind of random. All right, so Exodus 13, verse number 17, when Pharaoh finally let God's people go, finally, God did not lead them along the main road that runs through the Philistine territory, even though that was the shortest route to the promised land. God said, if these people are faced with a battle, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. God knew their people's limitations. God knew their struggles. God knew all of that. God knows that about you. God knows about me. So God led them in a roundabout way through the wilderness toward the Red Sea, towards a dead end, by the way. Through the, though, thus the Israelites left Egypt like an army ready for battle like an army ready for battle, but God knew exactly what they were indeed ready for. Moses took the bones, there's the bones, of Joseph with them, for Joseph had made the sons of Israel swear to do this. He said, God will certainly come to help you. When he does, you must take my bones with you from this place. So let's kind of go through this story backwards. We're talking about bones and we're talking about Pharaoh. First of all, Joseph had made a promise that God would help them. That promise was fulfilled. The third word in the scripture we're looking at here today is finally. God is faithful. We will finally see the fruition of his faithfulness. Well, finally. God is faithful. We will see it finally. So where are you at in that? I don't know where I'm at. All right, God, hurry up and let's get to the finally. Anyway, so the bones spoke of God's faithfulness and spoke of his power. And it's ironic that bones which you generally don't see human bones until the person that you that they were a part of is no longer with us. So these bones of a dead man spoke of God's faithfulness. What is it in your life that is dead, that is from the past, that is whatever, that speaks of God's faithfulness? Verse 19, the bones of Joseph spoke to Moses of God's faithfulness. That's the first thing, the bones. Second thing is Pharaoh. When Pharaoh finally let the people go, there's way too many times in our life that we feel like Pharaoh is running the show when he's not. There's way too many times that we feel like Pharaoh is running the show, but he is not. Pharaoh is not running the show. Pharaoh is only doing what the Lord will allow him to do. God's people were released when it was time for God's people to be released. Pharaoh ain't in charge. And when I say Pharaoh, I don't know who Pharaoh is in your life. I got me some Pharaohs. The fact of the matter is God let the people go when it was the appropriate time. God let God's people go and God knew his people's limitations. And it says, if my people are faced with battle, this is God talking about his people. He knows you. He knows me. He knows your limits. He knows my limits. If my people are faced with a battle, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. And then it says, God led them in a roundabout, that would be in the understatement category. God led them in a roundabout way. God led them. God doesn't often lead in straight lines. God led them in a roundabout way, pillar of fire, pillar of cloud. God led them. God led them. God's in the insanity. God's in the zigzags. God's in all of that. God, if we're following God, that is. But God doesn't always lead us in straight lines. God led them through the wilderness. Now remember, they lamented frequently and loudly, God, why'd you lead us to this? God leads us to places to lead us through them. Let that soak for a second. God leads us to places to lead us through them to strengthen us and to reveal his glory. And then God led them toward the Red Sea with a ticked off angry enemy in pursuit in the Egyptian army. What is the Red Sea that you are standing at? What is the impossible that God maybe has led you to? God has led us there. May God continue to lead us, including through Red Seas that appear impossible. So may the bones of God's faithfulness in the past be put in proper perspective that God will continue to lead us. And may Pharaoh, with all of his threats, with all of his real, real lies, deception, pain, persecution, Pharaoh is real, but God is realer. Heavenly Father, I pray that you'd help us to keep Pharaoh in proper perspective. 
with the inspiration and the faith built by the bones and other things in our past that absolutely scream of your faithfulness. May the bones that represent your faithfulness help us follow you and not give Pharaoh more of our attention than he deserves. I pray your blessing upon your people as we zigzag through whatever wilderness we might find ourselves in. Reveal your glory and show your faithful, miraculous power in our lives today. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you. Have a great day. Go with God. He most certainly goes with you.